My name is Miles. I'm going to show you around the, around the site. Let's go. This right here is where we store all of our rags. Now this area is where we store all of our, our, our bottles. This area is where we store all of our, our carts and uh, equipment. I use this spine right here. I'll show you very quickly. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how I get myself ready. Just hang tight. I'm just, I'm just filling up the water bottles right now. I'm trying, I'm trying not to do it to get it super, super overflowing. Uh, uh, two years, getting close to my third year now. Oh, we've got one more thing before we have to go. Before we, before we set off. Actually, three, three, three more things actually. That's what we want. That's what I need. Let's get out there. What does Everclean do? Uh, I would say in essence, you know, Everclean is in the cleaning business. Um, our responsibility is to yeah, maintain the cleanliness uh, of the site. Um, but more than that, uh, it's our kind of community centered approach where you know, we're, we're really, uh, again, one of our core values is, is to be ingrained in the community. So not only are we providing the, the cleanliness service, but, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to provide, you know, directions and, and just kind of help out in general. Uh, my name is Tyler McCormick, and I am the site manager for Everclean at the Uptown Shopping Center. How we make hiring inclusive, uh, it does kind of come down from a bit of a top-down approach where, you know, if you go to our website and you look at careers, inclusivity is one of the first things you'll see. So um, just kind of, yeah, actually having specific direction from top-down uh, to make sure that those are priorities, um, as well as just kind of teaming up with uh, programs like Can Assist, uh, as they you know have candidates that they can bring forward, um, already kind of having like a pre-vetted candidate that they feel will be good for us um, is obviously incredibly helpful. So having partnerships with the, again the community at large uh, is is kind of I guess two ways. So the top-down approach, um, as well as kind of partnering with uh, with with the community and, and different programs. So I am Evan Holbein. I am the operations manager for both Everclean and GuardTech on Vancouver Island. Yeah, so my role day to day is essentially to visit sites like this one, um, check in with all the staff, uh, you know, make sure that they've got everything they need to do their work, uh, check in on them personally and ensure they're doing well, um, and then checking in on, you know, the managers to make sure that we're staffed, uh, to see if we need to reach out for any kind of hiring needs or anything like that. Um, and then just to, you know, make sure, it's, it's really just about making sure that uh, everybody's happy at work, right? So um, my, my role is essentially just to pop around to the various different sites, help out where needed, um, and then just make sure everyone's having a good time, really. Um, so Miles, um, back uh, three years ago now, I was actually having coffee with somebody from Job Journey and uh, they were kind of letting me know, you know what they do and, and he came up and his story came up and uh, he was kind of struggling to find work. So, um, you know, it was right there. As soon as I heard his story, I'm like, man, I've got work that he can do. Like, let's get this guy a job. Um, and uh, I interviewed him shortly afterwards and uh, he was just so enthusiastic in the interview. Um, you know, he answered all the questions really, really well. And then I asked if he had any questions for me and he's like, when do I start? <laughs> and I'm like, let, next week, let's go. So he, uh, he came on with us and uh, he's been just incredible since. He's just such a good vibe for the site. Everybody loves him. Um, and uh, yeah, that kind of started our whole journey with Job Journey um, was, was bringing Miles on just through a casual conversation. And, and uh, we have, I think we have about five or six employees still 
um, from that uh, hiring process. So they've been really great to partner with and to just identify really quality candidates that work for us here at Uptown. So uh, they've been they've been awesome. How you doing, buddy? Good. How's things going so far today? Good. Got like stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what uh, what areas have you hit so far? Uh, just there. Just in there. You got all the bubbles. Yes, sir. Perfect. How's the how's the day gone? Uh, good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> nice day to be working outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sunny out. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're here at the boulevard. What do you call this one? It's a litter picker. Litter picker, and that's your favorite? Uh yeah. Uh it's useful for picking up some litter. Good one. This one is a uh, tough job cleaner. What do you use it for? Uh, dirty, uh, major dirty stuff. I used it last summer for, for the popsicles. What do you do if you find like broken glass? I just report it straight away. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get moving. Whoop. You got it. Oh, there's one. Oh, good one. Oh, good call. Good move. Back up, please. Uh, why is inclusion so important uh, in the workplace and to Everclean? Um, I, I feel like it's it's kind of necessarily true that people from different backgrounds bring different skill sets. So, uh, just having um, you know individuals with an eclectic background again necessarily means different strengths and weaknesses. But uh, you know leveraging those different strengths. So you know for example, Miles thrives on um, you know routine. So making sure that he does have a set routine that. I know is going to get done each and every day uh, is obviously very helpful. We have specific directives, things like um, you know uh, employee recognition. We have a budget set aside specifically for employee recognition. So we have employee of the month every month, which is voted on by their peers. So uh, it gives everyone a chance to kind of think about you know who's excelling and who's doing well. Um, so you know we have gift cards uh, for employee of the month. Uh, we do, you know, employee lunches for everyone, uh, typically once a month. Sometimes we'll kind of save up and do, you know, a, a larger special lunch for Christmas, for example. Uh, my first season is uh, the springtime. Why is that? There's a lot of people that come and go for the tour season. All right. Got to do it quick. Quick, 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 quick. Wow. Let's find out. Oh, that must be a ruler. I had this, I had this, I had this, I had this as a school tool back, back when I was in high school. Wow. I used to have that when I was young. Have a look. It's pretty good condition. Yeah. Not anymore. Because it's now litter. So anything on the ground is pretty much litter. Yes, sir. So something extra that I would like to sprinkle in is just to you know, give a shout out to Miles. He thrives on routine, which is obviously great that I know uh, the things that we set out in front of him, he's going to do. Uh, but also he just brings a lot of enthusiasm to the, to the table. Um, I mentioned earlier that there, we did have like a Christmas giveaway with, uh, with some, some prizes and stuff like that. And he was just super enthusiastic about it. And you know, he was shouting and cheering and it kind of got everyone else on board too. So, so uh, it, it can bring again some different elements and some enthusiasm to the table. So that's great to see. I recommend pl applying here. Why would you recommend applying here? Uh, it's a good job. I can, so it's, a, it's a good place. It is a, uh, fantastic place to work. If you guys apply here, I'll take you guys straight to the community room, community room and, and uh, I'll, take, I'll take one of the particip participants to the community room and um, leave you guys there and wait for the manager to arrive. It's like, just like it did when, when, they, when, the, when the hosts bring you straight to your table and like in the restaurant. You'll make them feel welcome. I'll make them feel, feel welcome. Uh, 
Uh, my advice for someone uh, to work here would simply be just to bring a good attitude. Um, you know, we have the tools and skill sets to, to train you, um, and as long as you're bringing a good attitude and a willingness to work um, and are positive each and every day, that'll go a long way and uh, we can take you the rest of the way. Good one. Cut.